In this video, we're going to find the first four terms of the sequence defined by this explicit formula. And when it says explicit, what that means is that this formula is written in terms of the position of a term. It's written in terms of its position. So how do I find the first four terms of the sequence? Well, I have this formula. I start with the first term and I write a sub 1. And notice that now n is a 1. So anywhere there's an n in the explicit formula, I am going to substitute 1. So a sub 1 will equal negative 2 times n, which is 1 in this case, plus 3. And that will equal negative 2 plus 3 which equals 1. For the second term, a sub 2, notice n now has a value of 2. So that means anywhere there's an n in the explicit formula, I am going to substitute 2 for n. And here you have negative 4 plus 3, and that will give you negative 1. For the third term, a sub 3, anywhere there's an n, I'm going to substitute 3. So negative 2 times 3 plus 3, that equals negative 6 plus 3, which equals negative 3. And for term a sub 4, negative 2 times 4 plus 3 equals negative 8 plus 3, which equals negative 5. So here are the first four terms of the sequence, and I can list these terms, I can write that the first term is 1, the second term is negative 1, the third term is negative 3, the fourth term is negative 5, and I can write a comma dot 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 because if I keep substituting n values, I can find an infinite amount of terms for this sequence. So here is the answer to this problem. Here are your first four terms. I hope you understood. We'll have one more example like this one. I'll see you in the next video.